Okay, so today's project is doing something with this CRT uh, Millennium CB radio. It's one of the uh, radios I bought probably five or six years ago. And I had it because it was nice and small. And at the time I was using a Ford Focus car and I needed something small. I didn't have anywhere to drill a big radio. And this was an absolute perfect fit for where it was situated. So it's been, uh, it's been used, but not really all that much. And it's just sat in a drawer doing nothing. So what I decided was, I want to build a little portable radio pack. And I have this old bag, uh, which I bought again, many years ago, it's not been used. And I thought, you know what? Why not have everything all in here? It'd be nice to be able to, difficult one ended, have the radio kind of sat inside there in a secure casing where you can lie it down zip it up keep everything safe and secure and even possibly use it whilst you're walking around always have a desktop mount um i've got this battery pack which i'm going to use 12 volts just takes uh, rechargeables or alkaline AA batteries Potentially, I'm going to upgrade it to lithium iron, but for the moment, let's just stick to what I've got. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, I have had this powered from this battery pack. It was stuck on the top, uh, wired together, and then I've got um, uh, like an L-shaped adapter that fastens onto that uh, socket which I then use one of my uh, various rubber antennas um, or the telescopic antenna you saw in one of my other videos. Uh, and that worked really well. But what I want to do is to basically have it all fastened in here. And then I've got the pockets up here that I could put spare microphones, cables, long wire antennas, anything I want. It's just using what I've got. Now for the structure of this, I've bought these breadboards. Now these are great, I've used these before uh they're probably about uh just less than half an inch thick uh the plastic they're like three pound each to buy and they cut down really well um and they're nice and strong as well and they're very light so i'm going to be cutting these down to make a stand and a bit of a case so let's get started and see what we can do all right so what i've done i've made two matching sides top and the bottom um, effectively that's going to be the bottom, that's going to be the top, uh, and the radio is going to be in the middle. Now, obviously, the radio is not going to fit in there. So, using some wood, it's going to be cut down. That's going to add a bit of depth. That'll sit on the top, and then there'll be enough space in there for the radio. So, what I've done, I've basically just cut this plastic. And then I cut some strips because I need some extra thickness. Now it looks a little bit rough, but once it's all screwed and bolted together, I can then get the sander on it and make all the edges nice and uh, flat. Um, although it's not an issue because it's all going to be hidden away inside that bag anyway, but it, it, it's nice to be as neat as we can. So uh, that's the first part done. Just got to uh, cut the wood, mount that, mount the radio, and get it sanded down. So it ends up looking like this. That radio is going to be mounted probably round about there, I'd imagine, just so the buttons are not sticking out. That's going to be bolted to the top. Uh, okay, that's not very good. Harder to get to. So, um, might end up in fact bringing it out anything is the button's not going to be very well protected is it i think i'll have it there and then just cut some of the top off i think that'll be the better idea there we go that's a better fit so looking for the top so we've still got some protection from the bottom that's going to give us uh enough protection there's enough space in there to be able to get to the dials and the controls um, and then I can still get to the uh, clips and the bracket to pull the radio out if I need to. 
Uh, once I've bolted it together, obviously I'll stick it onto the big sander and uh, make all this smooth. But um, for the moment, I'm happy with that. Okay, so moving forward a little bit then. So I've built it. So it's gonna be tidied up and uh, sanded down and made to fit properly. Um, so what I've done, I've mounted the radio in, I've put screws in. I was gonna put some bolts, but the bolts I've got aren't quite long enough. But the screws, I've just done a fantastic job. So I'm, I'm more than happy with that. And the great thing is, this is gonna be kind of pretty much protected inside the bag. But if I wanna take the radio out for any reason, just with these clips on the side, difficult one-handed hang on those clips do mean you can just pull it out so if i want to put any wiring in uh speaker socket antenna do me electrics everything will uh, be able to be done and then the radio just fits in and, and slides in there so let's see what it looks like as it is in the box okay so once it's in the bag there we go, that's it. Fits in really well, I'm really pleased with that so far. Unzip it, and the idea is then you can fold that underneath it and uh, you've got a full operation to your radio. Um, the microphone clips in like so. And there you go. Difficult one-handed, but basically you could just roll that underneath like I have with the top, that, that rolls underneath to give you full access. Um, options are, I could put cabling on the top in there for long wire antennas. I could even put a, a fold-up solar panel in there to trickle charge the batteries. Loads of options. And then the microphone unplugs, sticks into the top. But what I need to do now to sort out the antenna so that's going to be the part that's a little bit more tricky, but it can be done. Let's take okay, a look. Okay, so it's a few days later. Uh, got a bit tied up over the weekend, unfortunately, so I couldn't finish off with any filming. Uh, basically, it's finished. Um, I did uh, did film another couple of clips, but I've lost those, unfortunately. So uh, I'll just have to go straight to the end. But basically, this is it. We've got it done. I've decided I have cut away the hole for the antenna. I'm going to um, make a little flap to cover that with, with like Velcro, just to uh, cover it, protect it, and keep the elements away from it. Um, but, you know, I've tried it out and it works. It works really well. Uh, I didn't record it and I wish I had. I just threw it together and quickly tried it using this antenna. And uh, to my amazement, uh, I got a response from someone a few miles away. Um, and for this aerial, this rubber antenna, to work with all these LED strip lights everywhere in the dip where I live, uh, I'm really pleased with it. I'm really pleased. It's, it's worked ever so well. So the idea is that the battery pack lives in this compartment here. This is going to be changed for a lithium ion battery pack. But for the moment, it's just uh, AA cells. You get a spare pocket up here for whatever you want. Um, there's room here in this little pocket for manuals and charts, frequencies. And uh, if I decide to, there's enough space in here for one of my collapsible fold up solar panels fit, which can be deployed to uh, trickle charge any battery packs that are used for this radio. So, it's worked out really well. Um, what I might do is to get some tubing and fasten the tubing onto here through these little straps where I can have these aerials kind of fastened in and held safely um, just to keep them part of the radio pack. This is the other aerial that I use. Uh, if you saw my last video on kind of chase where I was trying out handhelds. This is the ale from that. I can't get it all the way up here because of the roof. But uh, that fits on really well. And it's nice and sturdy. Um, but I've only tried this antenna so far, this rubber one. 
and uh, handheld all part of the kit so there you go so what I'm going to do I'm going to get this uh, fastened up um, recharge the batteries and then uh, I think I'm going to take it out for a bit of a test it's a nice size really pleased with that it's worked out really well when you get onto site that can just so difficult one-handed that lifts up and then you've got your access and all your microphones fit in like so really good right okay let's get uh let's get packed away and uh i'll go and give it a test